Hi, everybody. Happy holidays. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, coming at you with 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Five autos a box on this. Just a quick two-box break. Random team break number two. Got a couple combos here as well. All card ship. Let's get after it. Big thanks to this group for getting in on the action. We sold it out straight up. No filler. I appreciate that. And there are the combos right there and the rest of the teams. So it should be 28 on each list. Let's roll it and randomize each list. One and a two. Three times. For names and teams. One, two, and three. We got Jason down to Mark. All right, once again, two and a one, one and two, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. We got the O's down to the snakes. All right, so Jason with the Orioles, Jose with the Twins, John with the Rays, Stephen with the Yankees. Mark with the White Sox, Nick with the Red Sox, uh, Jason with the Reds, John with the Astros A's combo, Nick with the uh, Phillies Marlins combo, Brian with the Nets, Nick with the Giants, Adam with the Brew Crew, Eugene with the Pirates, TJ with the Braves, Kevin with the Cubbies, Eric with the Mets, Mark with the Tigers, Greg, you got my Dodgers, Steven, Last Spot Mojo, Padres, Josh with the Rockies, Cameron with the Mariners, the Porterhouse Steak with the Royals, Nick with the Halos, Eric with the Rangers, Anthony with the Jays, Eric with the Guardians, and Mark Redbirds and snakes. I'm going to alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video and allow uh, and open up the trade window. So when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the two box break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. So in this two box super jumbo break on the 22nd in the year 2022. No deals done. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Appreciate it. Maybe some, uh, maybe some Christmas miracles for some of you here. I appreciate it. Remember, Jason marked those uh, with the Sharpie mark there so we know it's all from the same case. These are six-box cases, right? So I think the final two boxes in the store right now. If you want to run this back at some point tonight. Are these in the Sausage Link packs? Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Um, in one of our break, draft breaks we did last night, we pulled a couple out of fives from, uh, from a case. What I have yet to see is a one of one, a super fractor. So maybe in this break or the next, maybe, maybe we'll be lucky enough to see a super fractor. Uh, the main guys in Bowman Draft were Jackson Holiday, Tamar Johnson, and uh, Elijah Green are the main guys that we'll be looking at. But obviously, you know, a lot of prospect hunting opportunities. Most of the time, you know, you just kind of set it and forget it. Sort of like a Ron Papil pasta maker. You just sort of set these into a, put these into a box and then just forget about these guys for a few years and then check in on them later on. It's like, hey, are they, did they become somebody's? That's the great part about Bowman draft, Bowman baseball. Just prospect hunting and these are more, that's what makes baseball collecting a little different from the other sports because there's a little more of a uh, 
a longer time horizon, if you will, to, to see returns on this. Sometimes you can get some immediate results, right, with the top guys, but for the most part, a lot of it's sort of longer time horizon because who knows if any of these guys are going to pan out or not. But that's the risk we take. And, of course, all cards ship. We started doing that the last few years. Right, yeah, I mean, if, if, you're, if you're serious about collecting Bowman, I think that's kind of what it has to be, Ryan. Like an Excel spreadsheet, I think you're right. Get a, Google has free Excel spreadsheets that you can use if you have a Google account. Just, you know, create a spreadsheet and keep track of some of the, the Bowman first that you pulled here. And then just tuck everything away into a box in a, in a secure, dry location. And then you can just check in on those prospects every once in a while. There's Samuel Munoz, 3 out of 75. And, wow, Jackson Holiday, first autograph of the break. Your number one overall pick, Jason Cox with the Orioles. Got the, uh, got the O's in the random. And gets the number one overall pick, Matt's kid. It's a nice start. And Greg will get the Dodgers, get the uh, Samuel Munoz. And I'll do an autograph recap at the end of this as well. Nice start. a little extra effort, but I, I think the spreadsheet is definitely worth it. That way you don't have to, you, you know, if someone pops, right? It's like some prospect pops, you, you don't, you're not like digging through an entire box of cards being like, do I have this guy? Was that something I got in a team break from Jaspies four years ago? No, just go to the spreadsheet. It's a lot easier. That way you know, and then, you'll, then you can dig through the box. Marked 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball. And you'd be surprised. Because you want to be ahead of the curve, right? There's Trey Lipscomb for the National. It'll be for Brian. I don't know how many people, when a rookie hits like this year, and he's sort of a surprise, they're like, hey, was he in Bowman Draft four years ago? The Sharp Collectors, they already have it on their eBay or wherever they're selling it. They already have it posted, ready to take advantage of it and get some, get some returns on it. Yeah, and Ryan Harold has a bunch of Mark Appels that are collecting dust. Yeah, I mean, you don't know. I mean, is Jackson Curio, is he, is he can't miss or is he going to flame out early? Who knows? You know, and then some, then some random dude, like, I don't, I don't know if Justin Boyd's a, well, I guess he's a second overall, second round pick. So, I mean, that's not a good example, but you get the point. Maybe some random seventh rounder, you know, turns into somebody. Um, Cody Bellinger, I think, was a fifth or sixth rounder, right? I mean, I think he's fallen on hard times in recent years, but he, he peaked at an MVP award, and I'm sure those Bellingers are going pretty nice. But, yeah, Mark Appel was supposed to be the first. So he didn't sign, right? And then he got redrafted the following year. But good story, though. I mean, he at least made his MLB debut. Yeah, I think he never, I want to say he never signed. And there's Sean McClain. Not to be confused with John McClain. 289 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Greg S. Fang and my Dodgers. Fifth round pick. Who knows? Yeah, 
It is player dependent, but you're right. Some kids are coming up fast. Like, um, well, we're talking about Jackson Curio. I mentioned him because the uh, Brewers manager, Council Craig Council, was talking about how they're going to start playing some of the kids. Here's Jordan Lawler to 199. He he name checked Jackson Curio. Oh, uh, do we have it? Oh, do we have it reversed? Oh, out of high school, he was eighth, but didn't sign. Then he ended up being first. All right, TJ's got it. But that's why, I mean, obviously, all the other products are pretty fun to chase. You know, there's plenty of products where you can chase rookies, you know. When they're rookie, when these guys' rookie years come around, but if you really want to get ahead of the rookie cards, if you want to get ahead of the rookies, then Bowman Draft, Bowman, all these Bowman products are the ones to get into. So be sharp, be a sharp collector. If you're a baseball fan, you, know, you got to have some of this Bowman in your baseball collection, your baseball portfolio. Holiday. You got Ricardo Cabrera, green speckle, 29 out of 99. And that looks like an auto spot it is. Blue Wave, 16 out of 150, Bryce Hubbard. Jason Cox with the Reds. Third round pick. Holiday. Jason with all the uh, Jackson Holidays as well. It would be, it would be so nice. Uh, Marco Luciano to four ninety nine. Yeah, Ryan Harold's making a good point. A lot of these kids. Yeah, again, player dependent, but a lot of these kids seem to be getting called up a little bit faster and faster as the years go on, sooner and sooner as the years go on. So I wonder if you can get even more of an immediate return on some of this Bowman stuff than you would in previous years. Why do you think why do, why do we think that is? Is it just are kids like playing baseball earlier getting Driveline training earlier in high school and just getting prepped for baseball earlier. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe just we're just seeing the evolution, right? Just like we're seeing more like more and more quarterbacks who can who can run and throw. You know, we're seeing the evolution of like you know, big men who are able to shoot three-pointers, you know, where, like, that was kind of unheard of in 20 years ago, you know? Yeah, better prepared for Major League Baseball just via college and high school. It's Tamar Johnson for the Pirates. That'll be for Eugene. It's Speckle, Ignacio Alvarez. Speckle's uh, not numbered in this set, but all cards ship. And we got some purple paper, Hayden Dunhurst. 250 for the Royals. That's going to go to Darren. 223 out of 250. Yeah, and what? Then they're scouting these kids like, what, it's in middle school, right? 11 years old? Isn't that crazy? Holiday. All right, well, first box down. It's a nice box. Let's see... The redemption is Brooks Lee for the Twins. Aqua Lava Refractor. Really like the look of that. I think that's out of 150 maybe. Minnesota Twins. That's going to be for Jose. All right. Second box. Now, Ryan, uh, who were the Rays guys you were looking for yesterday? I know we got you a few autos in that case. So that must have been nice to wake up to and see. 
I only remember that Simps the Simpson last name. I, I forget who else. There was like a second guy you were looking for. I don't know if you got him or not. TJ looking for some Braves. And what's up? How are the fingers holding up? So far, so good. This is my Friday. This only just came out yesterday, so I think I, I lucked out. And I'm taking a bit of a winter break, so I'm just leaving it all on the field, Ben. I'm leaving it all out there. No, but so far, so good. I think I uh, kept my uh, hands and fingers well stretched. Ice up after the game. Ice after the game. Ice and heat treatment after the game. And I'm all right. I'd like. I, I would. I would. I would like to credit my years of uh, of playing tennis and guitar for the strength of my uh, my hands. Cermak. Yeah, that was the other guy. I was like, oh, really? TJ. I was wondering if we got some baseball news today. Wow. We might, I'm going to talk more about this when we do the full case break, but Trevor Bauer suspension reduced to 194 games. Bauer reinstated effective immediately. Hmm. Interesting. So I don't know what that does. So we'll see what the we'll see what the uh, but no back pay is that the other detail? Oh, that's good for the Dodgers and their finances. But he'll be on an MLB roster next year. He's officially, he's still officially a Dodger though, right? I forgot what his contract situation was. I think it was only is was this his third? I think it was a three year deal. Was this his third year? And is he is he now a free agent? There's A's Max Muncy, 180 out of 199. That's the Aqua Lava, and Cutter Coffee. 373 out of 499. That'll be for Nick and the Red Sox. Max Muncy will go to the Astros A's combo. That'll be for John. There's Juan Bin Cho to 499. 136 out of 499. Cardinals. That'll be for Mark. So he is a Dodger. It's interesting. Now, now let's see what do you think the Dodgers are going to do. Yeah, 2023. Well, he signed a three-year deal with an opt-out after each year after 21 and 22. After 23, he'd be a free agent. 
So 2023. He is still a Dodger. And he's already served his entire ban, right? Because he reduced the game to 194. So he's a Dodger. And I guess as of now, he is... As of now, he's in the... Uh, I think he's still on the 40, man? Has to be, right? Interesting. He could opt out. He has, he's owed $32 million in 2023, or that's his contract in 2023. Here's another holiday. He could opt out uh, receiving a $15 million buyout. It's about half that. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that's true. Never prosecuted, nothing nothing civil. I guess I guess the Dodgers could put him back in the rotation. Here's a Kevin Parada. Eric with the Mets. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think, uh, you know, I mean, you know, at, at the moment, it's just he said, she said at this point. I mean, so I don't know. We'll see. Seems like, yeah, but I'm sure someone will give him a job. I think the Dodge will just outright release him, or is there a, a trade possibility? Is he, can, can he be traded, I guess, now? Now that he's, if he's reinstated immediately, then he is, uh, if he's reinstated immediately, he's, he's up for any, any transactions. He can be traded, he could be outright released, which I don't think would be the option. Forget how all that works, but. Interesting, we'll see what the Dodgers do. Here's Elijah Green. Nice. 125 out of 150 for the Nationals. Brian B. Got randomized the Nats in the Super Jumbo break. Gets the blue Elijah Green. Blue Green. Your fifth overall pick. A future, you, think the, you think the Tigers would pick, uh, would pick up uh, Trevor Bauer? There's a Jonathan Classe or Class. It's 43 out of 250. Purple Chrome for Seattle if you're Cameron. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. And just from a baseball perspective, like where where is he at? You know, he hasn't pitched for a while. Where 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 is he at pitching wise? And we got a Kumar Rocker, an Elijah Green and a Kumar Rocker back-to-back. -back. 
Rangers. Eric. Eric J. with Texas. It's the Bowman first autograph, your third overall pick. Nice. Ryan Harrell, not a fan. Kick right. Ryan's a Mets fan, so. Was that our fourth or fifth auto? I forget. We'll, we'll do a we'll do a recap soon. Holiday. If you took a holiday, it would be. It would be so nice. Jackson Holiday, is he supposed to be the real deal? I know there's, I know, in, especially in baseball, there's, there's, you really don't have can't miss prospects, but here's DeAndre Smith. This might be our fifth and final auto. This is uh, for the Mets. It's Eric C. That one. J Dog, what's going on? Yeah, we were just kind of scratching the surface on that. TJ just just announced this this news. Trevor Bauer reading said, "Well, we got a long case break coming up, so we may get into it a little bit more there." I, I, I don't know if the Dodgers will have him back. He's still under contract for 2023. His suspension, so he's active. I mean, he's the he's already have suspension time served. And here's Ezekiel Tovar, gold paper, 14 out of 50. I don't know what the Dodgers think. I don't know what they'll do. I mean, Trevor Bauer can also opt out. Maybe if he feels like the relationship with the Dodgers is not, he could do the Dodgers a favor and just opt out. Jackson Holiday, pretty nice. There you go, gang. Hey, we'll see. What happens with the Dodgers, but happy holidays, everybody. Thank you for getting into two box super jumbo number two. Uh, another two boxes in the store. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you for the next break, which will be a case of jumbo. Bye-bye.